Hi there, welcome to TradeWinds YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learn how exactly to use TradingView. And moreover, I'll teach you seven of the easiest hacks for using TradingView for the beginners. So let's get started. But before that, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. We publish a lot of investing and trading related videos on this channel. Now, if you don't know about TradingView, it is one of the most popular charting tool which is used by traders all over the world. And here you can find a lot of candlestick patterns, a lot of indicators, and everything related to trading anyways without wasting any time let's get started with the trading view demo now before we discuss about trading view let me tell you something about trading view it offers premium model which means that a lot of tools and features that it provides for its user are free but some of them are also premium feature now i have an account with dhan which offers me premium account of trading view and i'll be using that one but if you want you can also use the free version for most of the beginners free account is all right to getting started with the trading view so let's get started so first of all you have to go on web.dhan.com if you already have an account and then if you go hover over your profile and click on trade on trading view chart this so this is the screen of trading view so let's start with the simplest one. For example, if you want to search any company, the first thing that you need to do is on the right side, you can see the name of the company. If you want to change the chart of that one, just click here and let's say currently I have opened SBI. You are interested to see the chart of ITC. Just search ITC here and you can select NSC, BSC, whichever you want to look into. If you are looking into foreign stocks, Apple and all, you can select NYSC, NASDAQ, those exchanges. For simplicity, we are taking ITC and NSC. So this chart will open. So this is the basic chart of ITC. So the first thing that you need to see here is the time frame. On the top side, you can see 15 minutes written here. It means that the candles which are showing here is for 15 minutes candle. And if you want, you can change the horizon here. If you want, you can show five minutes candle. And if you have a longer horizon, you can also open one hour chart also, 30 minutes chart also. So let's say you want interested into five minutes. So if you select on five minutes, the candles time frame will reduce. Now, if you want to do scalping, if you want to do quick trading, you can also look into even the smaller time frames like one minute and two minutes. So that option is also available. You can just click on it. One minute, two minutes will be available here. For the all the traders, if you are want to trade into stocks, even five minute time frame is good. And moreover, if you want to have a longer risk reward, you can also go with 15 minutes chart, which will give you a clear indication of where the market is heading into. So this is how basically you change the time frame. Next to that, you can see candles. So basically it shows you how, which kind of chart is available. Right now candles are available. If you want, you can also make it line chart. So line chart is basically used if you want to find the trend. The trend is going higher, trend is going low, lower, or if you want to see specific patterns, let's say a cup and handle pattern. So for that, again, it's very easy to look into by using line charts compared to candlesticks. So depending on your preference, you can change from candlesticks or line charts. For traders, most of the time, they will be using candlesticks. Now let's move forward and look into watch list. In the right side, see a lot of stocks are already in the watch list. So here, let's say if you're tracking any stocks, just keep in the watch list for them to trade. For example, let's say these stocks are already there. If you want to add more, let's say you want to also add here Ambuja Cement. So just click on plus and you can search Ambuja Cement and you can click on plus. I have already added that in the watch list, so it's not showing, but you can also, if you click on this plus button, that will be opened and then you can click on it to change the charts whichever you want to trade in so this is the third hack that you can create and even if you want to create multiple watch lists you can also click on new watch list and create your own maybe you can create a watch list for trading you can create a watch list for banking stocks nifty stocks and all keep on changing according to your trading style so by now i have explained you the simplest one that is how to change the time frame how to select the candle pattern how to select the pattern of the chart and how to create your watch list now let's look deeper into how to add indicators here. So in the top, you can see here, uh, this button is given. So if you click on this one, you can select the indicators that you want to apply. So right now I have already applied some of the indicators. I'll just remove it. For removing, just you have to click on cross, but let's start with the easiest one. Let's say you want to apply pivot points. For that, you just have to click on the indicators and type the indicator that you want to apply. You will just type pivot points standard and you can select here so right now you can see uh, it has already drawn the pivot points for this one this chart and it has already given me some of the points what are the resistance r1 r2 r3 r4 
and support for that one so this is right now for the daily time frame if you want to see for the longer time frame let's say day chart you can also change from three minutes to one day and you can see use the same one same pivot points for the daily charts also what is the support what is the resistance for the longer time frame for this week this month and also so this is the one indicator that i have applied few of the other common ones are like ema uh, moving averages and all that that will also i'll show you how exactly to apply those one so first let me change it again to five minutes time frame so now here you can see uh, i have already applied pivot points let's uh, suppose we want to uh, add now here uh, ema so you just have to uh, type moving averages it will give you that option you can to select one that one and if you want to change the time frame you can change here let's say from nine i want to make it five five you can select here and it will be auto adjusted so you have to know a little bit about ema to use it but if you already know what is ema you can directly apply it on the trading view so along with that basically if you are using the free version you can apply three indicators at once but if you have a premium account or if you have an account with done you can apply as many filters as you want so this is the third hack how exactly you can apply indicators here and if you want to remove here you could you just have to hover over over it and you just have to put on the cross button now let me move forward to show you how exactly to draw support and resistance or how exactly to do or draw lines on this one you can see here how the chart is going for the five minute and you want to draw a horizontal line what exactly is the support here so for that you have to click on this one and here you can see horizontal line so if you click on horizontal line and support and go over the point where you want to draw and just click on it it will be able to draw that line so here for me i feel like 2728 is a good support for hdfc bank so i have drawn that one similarly if you want you can look into the where the stock prices has pivoted so whenever there's a swing in the in the charts whenever from a bottom if it takes a u-turn or from a top it takes a u-turn that basically acts as a support or resistance for that stock so you just have to find those ones and based on that you can draw your own support lines or horizontal line which can be used for your future references so you just have to go here and click on horizontal line and draw the lines that you feel like is a support and on the top the ones which is the maximum that it has made if you feel like this is the resistance you can draw on that one also so this is basically how you draw horizontal lines next if you want to draw any trend line if you want to draw the tops of any uh, tops of the past few moments of the days that also you can draw and for that you can go here so again you can hover on this tab and if you click here you can select the trend line so let's say uh, if you are able to find a trend that market is moving into this one and these are if you want to connect the tops of the uh, price movements then again you can connect those and you can draw a horizontal trend line here so this is not a very good uh, trend line i'm just giving you an example of how you can draw horizontal line or any vertical lines based on your requirements so this is the phase fifth hack how exactly to do lines on that one moreover if you want to draw on your own if you don't want to draw exact vertical or horizontal line you can also use a brush and based on the brush you can make a movement define on the chart like how it should be drawn so this is also a very simple one you can draw your own for example here you can see that it was in a continuous downtrend so you don't need to use a, a horizontal line you can directly draw also using the draw tool here now let's move forward to another next hack the next hack is how you can divide your screen to see multiple stocks on just one screen so here uh, let's say you want to see four stocks all in once so this option is also available on trading view so if you go here and click you can select how many stocks you want to see into for example if you want to see four stocks at on once you can select this panel and now you will be able to see four stocks this can be used a lot of time if you are trading in indexes for example if you are trading in bank nifty in that time you might need to track into the top banking stocks for example you need to track into how hdfc bank is doing how icic bank is doing how sbi is doing so all these of three are the major component of nifty bank and if any of these uh, component are moving forward it means that it can move the bank nifty higher also so this also option is available here if you have a bigger screen and if you just divide your screens you can watch everything all at once so let me quickly show that one so let's say you are tracking bank nifty so you can add bank nifty in one one frame and in the next three frames let's add hdfc bank and sbi so next we will add here icici bank hdfc bank and sbi is already added so you just have to select the panel which you want to change and click here icici bank 
next you can change it to hdfc bank and here you can change it to uh, spi let me see where i have added spi so in the one frame only you can see all the four charts here and depending on if the nifty bank starts falling you can look into why exactly it's falling you can look into its components and let's say it was falling because of hdfc bank only so exactly looking into one screen you can track the overall nifty bank nifty and its top constituents similarly you can do with even nifty the you can look into the top constituents of nifty it can be reliance industries tcs and all and all you can draw on the same panel so this is the another hack of using trading view finally let me give you the seventh and final hack which is only available for the dhan users so if you already have a dhan account it gives you an option that you can directly trade on the trading view account uh, what you have to do is just right click and once you right click you will be able to see trade option and if you want to create a new trade you just have to go and click on create new order so directly without going on trading account directly looking into charts here you can place your order let's say if you want to buy at specific price 26 2746 it's going on and if you want to buy it at 2460 you can click on that and finally you can place a buy order directly from the charts here and once the order is placed in the in the bottom panel you can see account manager you can see your open positions you can see your order books or any closed positions directly in the trading view so these are the seven basic view hacks how you can use trading view i don't want to get into very advanced one but this is how the beginners should get started with try to open some charts try to draw some support and resistance line or try to use some indicators so that you get familiar with this one and once you are familiar you can also get into advanced indicators and all moreover if you want to get a premium account of trading view you can open an account with dhan for account opening in dhan it's totally free and you will get all these premium features for free also so if you want to open an account with dhan i've added a link in the description you can use that one that will be all for this video. I hope it was useful to you. Do comment below which of the trading view hack you like the most. Thank you for watching. This is